Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to FPS Gaming. We are playing some Transformers Earth Wars and it is day one of Same But Different, which is an individual event with 20 prestiges, all kinds of good rewards, lots of Prime Core shards, enough to get a Prime Core if you complete it, or if you have all the Prime Cores like I do, then you get two G-Metal Cores from the Prime Core Shards. If you don't have all the Prime Cores, don't waste your Prime Core Shards on a G-Metal just yet. You want all the Prime Cores and then start using them for G-Metal. As you can see, there's Total Spark Crystals, Spark, Alloy, and Energon. All kinds of goodies. It's a pretty good chillax event. I'm enjoying it. I'm having a good time. And I'm going to take my, uh, it's actually my seventh squad here, but it's, it's one of my funner ones to use. Mainly because I have the 4-star Alita 1 and 3-star Star Saber over here. I like using them in tandem. And I know what you're thinking. You're saying it's crazy. Their abilities are both way too expensive to use in tandem. But if you do it just right, it can work. I do wish I had a 4-star Star Saber. He would be a lot more uh, powerful. But so far, all I got is the 3 but, uh, yeah, I'll show you how I use these two together. Um, this base is interesting. Okay, so normally what I will do is I will launch Alita 1. I'm probably going to launch her somewhere in this vicinity. And then from there, I'm going to launch her right here. And I should have enough ability points to launch her right at the HQ. And then the second Star Saber is in range of using his ability to get to the HQ. He's using his ability to go straight to the HQ to help her. And it is expensive. It does use all your ability points. But I'm telling you, it is totally worth it. So, for an experiment, I usually launch the whole team. Let's just launch Alita 1 and Star Saber. And see how that works. So here we go, her first ability attack. Then we're going to launch her up here. And then one more at the HQ. And now it's just a matter of Star Saber getting in range. And I don't think he will without the help of the other box. So we're going to launch all of them. And yeah, he's not going to make it. I should have launched everybody. So I'm going to go ahead and use his ability down here. But we're still going to win... That didn't work out quite the way I planned it because I should have launched every bot. But it doesn't really matter. Alita 1's going to take out the HQ. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll try to zoom out as much as we can so you can see all the action. And we'll fast forward it. And... Boom! Really, Alita could have soloed that by herself. And if I'd had a four-star Star Saber, he probably would have lasted long enough to get where I wanted him to. So, <laughs> what became a lesson in how to use them in tandem became a lesson in why you really need a four-star Star Saber for certain bases is on 12. But it's all good. We won the battle. So, yeah. So, launch every bot from now on. Note to self. Or in that case, just launch the leader one and let her get all the XP. So as you can see, I'm like one battle away from being through Prestige 4 and onto Prestige 5. So not too shabby. Now let's take a look, see how the Crystal Kraken's coming along. And as you can see, we got uh, 12 of the uh, Total Shard Crystals. We got 10 free chips. We got 20 free crystals. We got one premium. And we are getting ever closer to Metroplex because I cracked all my VIP crystals. Nothing but dupes. I, I record it in case something special pops up, but it, it usually doesn't. It's usually Dupe City. And those dupes got us 11,373 star shards over halfway to Metroplex. So I'm actually kind of hoping that those total shard crystals this weekend come up three star more than not. We'll see though. It should be interesting. I'm excited for it. But yeah, that is it for my day one video. So I uh, hope everybody enjoyed it and definitely check back in tomorrow for day two. And 
I'm kind of taking this at a nice leisurely pace and I'm just like playing around with the battles, trying to solo with bots. I don't usually try to solo just to see what happens. I mean, I still got a team with them that'll beat the battle, but I'm just saying I'm, I'm taking it more leisurely. I'm having a little bit of fun with this weekend's event. So I should easily still be able to record a video for Sunday. I shouldn't, I should complete it. I'm thinking middle of the day Sunday. So definitely look out for those and definitely check out my crystal cracking on Monday and I will see y'all then. Same bot time, same bot channel. Frankster out.